What's going on, all you fantastic freelancers? William here with a 2-in-1 Your Anthem lore discussion video. Today, we're going to be going over the first pilots to ever create and operate the Javelins, the Legion of Dawn, as well as their leader, General Helena Tarsus. To give you guys an idea of how important these legends were, let me give you a quote from the Legion of Dawn edition of the game. In the darkest chapter of humanity's history, it was the Legion of Dawn who brought us into the light. These pilots were not just the first to use the javelins, but they were true heroes. I think the Anthem community will agree with me on this one. Their era deserves the title, The Age of Heroes. Obviously, the designers of the most advanced technology humanity has to offer would be the best at operating them. Uh, next to you all, I mean. Thanks to their ingenuity and protection, humanity was allowed to start thriving and start the construction of fortified settlements safe from the dangers and threats of the outside world. But how did the Legion of Dawn create their signature black and gold javelin suits? I'd imagine their methods would be similar to how freelancers today would craft them. The Legion would study the Shaper artifacts in order to create the first javelin suits. With the Shaper relics being the most powerful objects in the history of the Anthem universe so far, it would stand to reason these suits would be the next best things. Obviously, the members of the Legion of Dawn would have to be pretty brilliant, as crafting these suits and studying the Shaper technology couldn't have been a mere feat by any stretch of the imagination. However, for all their expertise, brilliance, and might, something happened to the Legion. For whatever reason, these heroes either died off, splintered, or dissolved. Despite whatever their reasons may have been, the Freelancers took their place as Guardians of Humanity, donning the Javelins as the Legion of Dawn once did. My question is, why did they fall apart? There was still all of humanity to protect, and Fort Tarsus to defend. Whatever must have caused this splintering had to have been something significant to say the least. Speaking of Fort Tarsus, did you know the Legion of Dawn had a leader? While we don't know the names or the specifics about the other three, the Legion of Dawn had a leader named General Helena Tarsus. For obvious reasons, my money is betting on her actions and leadership being the chief reasons why our fortress bears her name. I believe Fort Tarsus being her namesake gives us a potential clue as to her fate and why the Legion of Dawn may have splintered off. Why do you name something as significant as a fortress after someone? Of course, we established that the Legion of Dawn were heroes, and what better hero to name something after than their leader? Maybe she didn't die or sacrifice herself. It could be as simple as that. But that doesn't give us a reason as to why the Legion of Dawn broke up the band. What if they broke up because their leader died? Without the direction of a leader, they'd more than likely fall apart. Now, I'm sure the Legion of Dawn was a well-knit group, and I can see them becoming close enough to a family. However, without the leader of the group, who brought humanity out of its darkest chapter and into the light, why carry on? The General's death or sacrifice could have been the reason the fortress was named after her. However, I don't know, and we don't exactly have a time frame as to when the first javelins were made and how old Fort Tarsus is. Anyways guys, that does it for today's lore discussion. What do you think happened to the Legion of Dawn, and what do you think became of them. What do you think of the fate of General Helena Tarsus? If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, and if you are new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe for more Anthem lore discussions. Have a great day, my freelancer friends, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.